YouTubes, welcome back to another brand new video. I'm so excited that you guys are here today. If you wanna follow me, you can do so on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and TikTok using at PlanagoAmy. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you never miss another brand new video from me. Let's get into the video. Hey Planner Babes, welcome back to another Planner with me here on my YouTube channel. It has been a little while since I've been back planning, but I thought I would come back. I know, I've been a little behind. Oh, where? is it? Where's November? That's so, oh, oh, I was like, where'd November go? I couldn't find, I was like, wait a second. So I wanted to do a Halloween themed spread since we are um, Halloween week. Well, my idea fell through because I want to use paper, um, cardstock paper. And I realized I have no more adhesive left. Cause yeah, and so I was like, oh, I can't use a cardstock paper. So instead, I thought I would use this. And I was like, I'll do this with Alice in Wonderland, but this one is too dark to do with Alice in Wonderland. So I will just do this one then. I don't know, I need like, I need to look on the Happy Planner website and actually like properly see the different sticker books, but I feel like I'm not, over the years I find there's like fewer and fewer sticker books I'm like really into that I feel like are like worth me buying. Um, and that's tricky because, um, you know, I feel like I need to refresh my sticker book game, so. Needless to say, um, yeah, I need to read. I did a, a sticker book clean out. I filmed it for Instagram. I don't know when I will post on Instagram or if I will, because it may be too long of a video. Um, but we shall see. And then I did like a little second video where like I was organizing the ones that were kind of like disorganized, like it was like a pile of like disorganized ones. So I was kind of like putting them aside. Um, but yeah, so. Anyway, that's kind of what I did, but I feel like those are lame videos, but I saw this one and like, I haven't had it for a super, super long, but I didn't sort of forget a little bit about it, but anyway, yeah, I like this one. This one kind of looks like a question mark. I just realized that the Lily of the Valley they did. Looks like a question mark. I like this one. Actually, I could still do an Alice in Wonderland with this. And I feel like that'd be really fun and creative. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to get my Alice in Well, this sounds like someone who likes to book has a little bit more of like a dark theme. And Alice in Wonderland has flowers, talking flowers. So I feel like it'd be fun. This is almost to the point where I can start the second one of this. But it's not quite there. this though. Mm -hmm. Do I do, the question is, do I do 
looking like this. I don't really think this is fun. in here. I don't know. Yeah, but they're not long. Okay. The second um, Alice in Wonderland sticker that the Happy Planner put out, because um, they put out um, another one, is like my favorite, honestly. Okay, next I want to do. Thursday, I'm gonna do it up there and pull from here instead. that originally. this one so I'm gonna put this back and I hope I'm gonna pick a flower mm -hmm. I know this one's up there already maybe this one Yeah, that 
that works really nicely there. So I think that works. And, oh, I need something for Sunday. For Sunday, I think I'm gonna pull from here again. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice was kind of like, maybe this one more. I think this one looks nice in here. There we are. And this page is complete. Next, we're going to work on this one. Oh, I got to put that one there. the washi that comes in here. hadn't used. My watch is definitely notifying me something here. I'm 
gonna use it though, so don't worry. Cause I wanted to use this one and I forgot I pulled it. So I feel like it would work really good right here. There we go. Soon, I'll probably try to do one to two more spreads with this sticker book um, before I allow myself to use the second one I have of this. I'm trying to look for that sticker, that one sticker I saw. Mm. I might have to go page by page. I found it. So the sticker is just too big for the space. That's okay. We'll find another one. I think it definitely has to have flowers because otherwise then it doesn't make it very specific to this sticker book. like the little teacup which I could use it's the only tiny one I do like this one though I think it is super cute 
And then I make his little teacup. Because why not? gonna add just this one here I think that it works good here I'm just gonna do it sideways so that I can kind of get the sticker down as straight and how I like it I'm just gonna pull it up like this because I didn't get it down straight spread actually turned out so cute and i think the combining of the sticker books is so fun like i don't know i originally thought it wasn't gonna work because i was gonna use the new alice in wonderland but i think it works so well with the um older edition and i think it's a fun idea if you have a sticker book where you don't have a lot of stickers um like left in the sense that like you don't have a lot of stickers left in it um, and you can't really do a full spread, combine it with another one that's in, like a similar theme. I think that could really work well. Also, um, so I think that can be really fun and can give you like a creative way of using up um, a sticker book that you don't think you can get another spread from. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know in the comments down below. If you have any questions on planning and things like that, message me at planagoimi on Instagram. And that is all for now. Bye.